Let's try something because we've been practicing pronunciation a little bit. We've started to notice the difference between big vowel sounds and little vowel sounds. Let's, uh, can you see the mm. screen? Can you see the, the video? The, uh, can you read the first sentence on the paragraph that we have up here? Okay, sir. <clears throat> if only he were not so shy, okay. he reminded her of it. Let's stop, just the first sentence. So, if only he were not so shy. If only he were not so shy. Okay, just read that again. If only he were not so shy. Okay. Uh, what does that, you know, that's actually, that's actually an expression. That's a, if only. Have you ever seen that before? That's a... a something used as a signal, actually. Have you ever used that, or do you know what that means? Yeah, if only, yes. What does that mean if you put if only in front of a sentence? If only I had more money. If, if only the weather were better. What does that mean when you put if only in front of an idea? Do you know? Uh oh. I think Pachu has disappeared. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes the audio drops out. Well, that's a signal. So I'll just tell you that's a signal for uh, expressing frustra uh, frustration. So uh, uh, if only the, we the weather were nicer, you're frustrated because the weather is bad. If only I had more money, you're frustrated because you don't have enough money. Okay, so this is like a signal for frustration. Are you back, Pachu? Can you hear me? No, he's disappeared. <laughs> so, so that's actually a pretty common, useful expression. All right. Uh, well, while we're waiting for Pachu, I guess we better we, we better read this. I was going to ask Pachu to pick out the important words in, because, you know, recently we've been practicing pronunciation and the thing that we've been doing is uh, noticing the difference between vowel sounds that have a really long duration and vowel sounds that have a very short duration. And sometimes, um, it, and this is kind of complicated, but sometimes if you if you say a word on it uh, alone, it could be very long, but in the middle of a sentence, it could be very small, and it depends on how important the word is. Pachu, are you back? No. Okay. Well, uh, so in that sentence, if only he were not so shy. Uh, Pachu is saying the sound isn't working. Okay, I'm going to hang up on Pachu and call Pachu back and see if we can get him again. Maybe we have a, a bad connection. Let's try. Hello. Oh, he's still not there. Hello. Oh, he hung up on me. <laughs> Pachu hung up on me. <laughs> We'll try again. I'm going to call again. It's better if we have somebody who's not a native speaker practicing this so we can correct the mistakes. Uh-oh. Hello. Hello. Okay. Okay, he's back. All right. Yes, it is. Uh, so, so we have, if only he were not so shy. Pachu, which... Uh, which words in that phrase do you think are very important? What do you think are the most important words in that phrase? Uh, say. D did you hear what I said about that phrase, if only? is Do you think that's an important phrase? Yes, if only, yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, so do you remember the other day we were talking about rhythm, like strong, weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, or weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. Remember that? Yes, yes. Okay. In that strong, weak, weak, strong, yes. 
So in that phrase, so if, 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 if only is a very important phrase, and it's desirable to have this weak, strong, weak, strong uh, pattern. How do you think you should pronounce? Yeah. We can... You tell me. You tell me how to pronounce if only. Try to try to think about that pattern. If only. If mm -hmm. only. Okay. We, so. Only, uh, uh huh. Go ahead. Uh, if is short and only is big. Well, if okay. only if O is big, Lee is is not. So if only. Uh oh, are you gone again? Requerdos says hello. I can hear you. Yeah, it's uh, Pacho. Are you there? Uh oh. If only, if only we had a better connection. <laughs> so that's a phrase that you use for expressing frustration. If you know, if you pronounce those words apart, if only. Oh, it still is like that. It's uh, strong. It's weak, strong, weak. If only. That's the pattern we want. If only. If only. Okay, we're back. I can hear you now. <laughs> What about in the? Can you read the? Yeah. Uh, he were not so shy. Read that again. Uh, okay, sir. He he were not so shy. He were not so shy. Uh, okay, I'm going to put two words up here on the in the video. Okay. I noticed this about you the other day, and. We didn't really talk about it, but I think we have to talk about it. Okay. So I think it will probably take a moment before you can see what I have written. Whoops. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, let me. I'm trying to get this in a, so that we can see it clearly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see it. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll just leave it like this for right now. Okay. Uh, yeah. What happened here? Okay. How do you say number one? Sign. Again? Tell me again. Can you say it again? Uh oh, you've disappeared again. Okay, well, while we're waiting for Pachu to return from his mystery place, uh, we've got number one, which is sign, sign. And then we have number two, which is shine, shine. And uh, in order to say number two, you have to bring your tongue up more. So Pachu uh, is, is saying, what I noticed about the way he's saying it is his tongue is flat, sign. We're well, not flat but not up enough. He needs to arch his tongue so that it's obstructing the air. Shine, shine. And if he ever returns, we can see it. Sometimes, sometimes we have a good connection and sometimes we have a bad connection. I think today is not good for this. <laughs> I'm going to try to call again. Let's see, I'll hang, I'm, ha I'm hanging up on you, Pachu. Uh, try. Well, for some reason, we have a bad connection today. It usually isn't like this. So I, we've done this, I think, four times now. It, it's worked pretty well. but I guess not today. Let's try again. Hello? Uh, OK, 
Okay, we're back. So, Pachi, yes. can you say number one? Say number one. Uh, sign. And say number two. Sign. Okay. So the thing is, you have to move your tongue up like this so that it's hitting the top of your mouth or almost hitting the top of your mouth to make the air make a different sound. Shine. Sign. Sign. Shine. Your, your, tongue, your tongue needs to be hitting almost the top of your mouth in the back. Not in the front, but in the back. Shine. Shine. Sign. 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 It's like you have your teeth. You have your teeth here. Wait. <laughs> Here are your teeth, okay? And your tongue, your tongue is between your teeth. See? And it goes up. Shine. Sign. Sign. Can you try to pull your tongue back? Sign. Sign. Still not working. Shine. Shine. Remember when we Sign. were... Remember when we were talking about year? Year? Can you say year? Yeah. Y year. 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 You know how you can you feel how your tongue is like this? Year. 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 Right? Do you feel the position of your tongue? Oh no. He's disappeared again. Well, we'll keep talking, and then if he comes back, he comes back. Okay, so we've got sign, sign, sh shine, shine. So the, the, the tongue pushes, pulls back just like with a Y, but you push out ear. Yes. Sign. Wait, let's see. Wait, yes. Sign. Shine. Sign. Shine. Sign. Shine. Sign. Sign. There must be something else we're not getting right here. I think we have to come back to that. We'll have to come back to that one, okay, for right now. Yeah. Uh, Sign. Sign? Sh oh, that you just did it. You just did it right now. Sign. No. Sign? Shine. Shine. You should be... You're, you're, for me, my teeth are biting the side of my tongue. Shine. And I'm shine. What if you move your tongue, the tip of your tongue up? Sh shine. Sign. Sign. Hmm. Sign. Now we're going to have to, let me, let me get back to that one. There's something, there's still something not right, but we have to, I have to do a little bit of research on that because there's something missing. Okay. So uh, let's. So we'll do that next time, okay? I'll look into it, and next time we'll. Yes, play. yes. Okay, but uh, so so we have if only. That's a very important phrase right there. If only, and what do you think are the important words in the next phrase? He were not so shy. Oh, no, he's gone again. Okay. Well, we want to keep that rhythm of up, down, up, down, up, down. Weak, soft, weak, or weak, strong, weak, strong, weak, strong. So we already have that. If only we already have that. We have weak, strong, weak. And it just so happens that here uh, the important words, he, not, so. We could emphasize those words. So uh, let's practice saying he in a very big way. He. We've got he and he. And then we've got not and not. And then we've got, uh, let's say shy. I said, so, if only he were not so shy. Actually, I would use, I would want to use the word shy. Uh, so here, I would want to emphasize that. Uh, so instead, let's say he were not. He were not so. If only he were not so shy. If only he were not so shy. 
If only he were not so shy. Okay, let's go on to the next sentence. Okay, which is, he reminded her of a timid old brown field rabbit. The word timid means shy. Okay, let's try to pick out the interesting words here, the, the important words. Maybe remind and timid and rabbit. And uh, maybe we maybe we could do something with he and her. He reminded her. He reminded her. Maybe we have to pronounce all of those words very clearly. He reminded her. And then we can maybe uh, switch into a pattern of weak, strong, weak, strong. We have the word timid, timid. Need a moment. Oh, okay, you're back. I can strong. hear you again. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. How would you Timid. how would you say he reminded her if you if you pronounce those words very clearly then how would you say of a how would you pronounce that if, I mean, if we're pronouncing it in a very clear way we would say of a but in a normal sentence how would that sound those are very unimportant words of a yeah of a of a aba 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 yes aba could you Abba. say he reminded her of a? He reminded her of a. Okay. And which words do you think we could focus on with timid, old, brown, field rabbit? That's actually a very unusual sentence. <laughs> yeah, rabbit. Rabbit is obviously okay. the noun. Okay. Well, can you pick out some words? How about timid? Yeah. Timid is also important. Okay. Timid. Well, you know, it's funny because we have a lot of times adjectives will be words that you emphasize, but we have many, we have many adjectives together. Timid, old, yeah, yes. field. Old, but, brown, mm -hmm. field, yeah. Well, so try this. Try doing this strong, weak pattern with all of those words. If you start with timid, how would old be? Would that be a weak or a strong word? Timid. Timid. Well, what about it's old? So is old is old going to be weak or strong? If we do the strong weak, strong weak pattern, how will old be? Will that be an, a big sound or a little sound? Old is big sound. Old, old, old. Yeah, it could be. It could be to keep the rhythm. Timid old. Timid old. So if yeah, we timid old, mm -hmm. timid old, timid old. But but so but what about brown? How about brown now? Should that be strong or weak? If you say it alone, it's very big. Brown. But how should it be here if we're doing strong? Yeah, brown. Strong weak. Should it be weak or strong? What do you think? Yeah, uh, short. Yeah, yeah, short. So tell me, tell me, brown in a big way. How would you pronounce it if if it were a big word? Brown, brown, brown. 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 Right. And how would you pronounce it if it's not so important? Uh, brown, 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 yeah, brown, brown. Timid old brown. brown. Timid old brown. Give, give me. Timid old brown. Say again, sir. Oh, okay. So that you know that strong weak pattern is a very it's a very. Uh, desirable pattern to adopt when you're when you're making a sentence and that's why we're doing this oh, are you back yes it is okay can you say that can you say timid old brown timid old brown timid old brown timid old brown dull brown timid old, old brown okay how about the word timid old brown how about the the word field Field, field is also 
long is brown field field uh, yeah, because field. because brown is small then we should probably make field big right field yeah field. big big yes field tell tell me field if you pronounce it in a big way field 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 tell me field if it's a very unimportant word if it's a very small word is field 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 timid old brown timid old brown field timid old brown field okay timid old brown field rabbit okay now uh if we say that word rabbit rabbit where's the accent on that syllable or which which, which syllable has the accent in that word Hello? Rabbit. Which which syllable has the accent? Uh, rabbi, rabbit uh, first. first. Rabbit. Rabbit. Okay. So we can't we can't say rabbit. We can't do that. But in order yeah. to keep the in order to keep the rhythm, we could make yeah. we, we could make we could make bit bigger if we want. So if, if we want to keep the, the, the rhythm, normal rabbit, rabbit. But here, to, to, to keep the rhythm, maybe we could say something like rabbit, make it a little bit bigger, just to try to keep the rhythm. Rabbit. Yes. Rabbit, rabbit, mm -hmm. rabbit, rabbit. Just to keep that rhythm. Yes, yes. He reminded okay, her of a timid old brown field rabbit. He reminded he reminded her of Timmy Dole Brown filled a rabbit. A can, rabbit. Can you say he reminded her of a? He reminded her of a. He reminded her of. He reminded her of. Her of a of a of a of a. Yes, sir. He reminded her of a. He reminded her of a. Her of a. Hurava. Hello. He reminded. Say it again. Say it again. He reminded her of a. He reminded her of a. Can you he say? Reminded her of a. Say rava, rava, rava. Rabba, uh, rabba. Her rabba, her rabba. Rabba, rabba. Her rabba, her rabba. He reminded her rabba. He reminded her rabba. Okay, he reminded her of a timid old brown, a uh, timid old brown field rabbit. Timid old brown uh, field rabbit. Okay. Timid old brown field rabbit. All right, let's take a look at the next sentence. Oh, why don't you read everything? If only he were not so shy. He reminded her of a timid old brown field rabbit. If he only he were not so shy, he reminded her of a timid old brown field rabbit. Okay. If only, if only. If only, if only. If only he were not so shy. If only he were not so shy. Okay. He reminded her of a... Uh-oh. <laughs> this video is cursed today. <laughs> he reminded her of a... Are you back? No? Okay. Well, while we're okay, you're back. All right. He reminded her of a. He reminded her of a timid old brown field rabbit. Timid old brown field rabbit. Okay. Rabbit. Now we have the next sentence. If only so we have that same 
signal. This is a signal of frustration. Okay, and then we have uh, oh, we have some complicated words in this sentence. We have gallantry. Yeah, uh, gallantry is uh, it's kind of like the the way men are expected to behave towards women uh, in an honorable way. Yes, yes. Okay. So you maybe you could think of gallantry as similar to the word honor. Honor. So let's 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 pretend that that means honorable. It's pretty similar. Yes, and, okay. No, and, honorable. Then we, uh -huh. and then we have the word ardor, which means a lot of enthusiasm or passion. So we have passion passion and honor. Passion and honor. Okay. Uh, pass on honor, okay? Okay. Gallantry. So if only he had the gallantry and honor of the Tarleton boys. Okay. Uh, let's just read to Ardor, okay? We'll just read to Ardor. Can you read that? If only... Ed? Go ahead and read it. Uh, uh, if only he had... Uh -huh. If only he had... Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, now, what do you think about that? If only, how how should that sound? If you're really emphasizing that word "only," how do you pronounce it? If only, yeah. If only you have to if do only. The, you have to make it bigger so that we know it's an important word. Yes. Sir. Okay. If only. If only. How would you How would you read? He had the. He had the. If you if you're putting that together in a sentence, how would you read it? If only uh, he had the. If which, only he had the. He had the. He had the. Which words? Which words are big and which words should be small? And he had the. Uh, had. He and the is short. Okay. If only he had the. Possibly. I mean, he? you have to pause then. You have to say, if only he had the. You could do it like that. Yeah. Because you're breaking. Uh, if only, yes. Uh, if only he had the. Okay. And now we. If only he had the. If only he had the. If only. Uh oh. <laughs> Here we go. Pachu has disappeared. If on, uh -huh. go yes. Ahead. I can hear if you now. Only, if only he had the... Okay. If only he had the... What? What is that word? What is that next word? Uh, gallantry. Okay. Gallantry. Okay. What does that mean? What does gallantry mean? What does that word mean? Uh, honorable. 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 Okay. Uh, so, uh, where's the accented syllable? Where's the big syllable in that word? Gallantry. Uh, ga gallantry. Lantry. Listen, gallantry. Listen to me say the word. Gallantry. Gallantry. Yeah, gal. Gal. G-L. Oh. Gal. Gallantry. Gallantry. Gal. It's very important. Gallantry. Yeah, it's very important to notice where the accent is. If you if you say the wrong accent, it will be very. Believe it or not, you could yes. say everything perfectly, but if you put the the accent on the wrong syllable, people yes. understand you. Oh no no no! no sir. Yes, gallantry, gallantry. Gall yes, gal gallantry. Gallantry. Gal. Okay. Gallantry. If, gallantry. If gallantry. Only, if yeah. only he had the gallantry. If only he had the gallon. Okay, and then he's gone. So we have, and ardor, ardor, ardor. That means enthusiasm. And where, oh, go ahead. I can hear you now. You disappeared for a while, but now I hear uh, Gallon, an ardor of, an ardor of the. Okay. Where's the accent? Of the? How, how about the word and? 
and is that sound is that vowel sound is that a very long vowel sound or is that a short vowel sound short is uh and okay that's true and. so if you say the word if you say the word alone and it's a very long sound but in the middle of a sentence it's just mm. <laughs> it's just mm. Mm. gallantry mm. and ardor gallantry and ardor We're, Gallantry and ardor. Where's, gallantry and ardor. Where's, gallantry and ardor. Where's the strong syllable in ardor? Dor. Ardor. Uh, no, it's ardor. the other way around. It's ardor. Ardor. Yes, first. First, ardor. ardor. Gall ardor. Gallantry and ardor. Gallantry and ardor. Okay. If only he had the gallantry and ardor. If only he had the gallantry and ardor. Okay. And then we have apta, 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 apta. Abda, abda, abda. Mm -hmm. If only abda. gallantry and ardor of the. If only he had the gallantry and ardor of the. Okay. Ardor of the. Okay, then we have, uh, this is a family name, Tarleton, Tarleton, Tarleton. Tarleton, Tarleton. Where is the accented syllable in that name? Tarleton. This first, ta, ta, the first, Tarleton. The first syllable, ta Tarleton. 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 Tarleton is the first syllable. Okay. And what do you think about the word boys? Is that a big sound? Is that vowel sound in the middle? Is that big or small? Boy. Boy, yeah. Big boys. 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 Oh, we. It's actually, it's like three sounds. Oh, we. Oh, we. Yeah. Boys. Yeah. Boys. It's like we. sounds. Boy. Can, can you say Tarleton boy? boy. Tarleton boys. Okay. Tarleton boys. Boys. Mm -hmm. If only he had the gallantry and ardor of the Tarleton boys. If only he had the gallantry and ardor of the Tarleton boys. Mm -hmm. Tarleton boys. Boys. You know, you're going up boys. at the end of the word. You're saying boys, boys, but you should try to go down at the end of a phrase. Boys. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Boys, yes. Boys. Boys. Mm -hmm. boys. Okay, so notice we have we have our pattern. Tarleton. Boys. What about or even? Tarleton. If you say the word or... What do you think about that vowel sound? Or, or, what do you think about that? Uh, oh, is it's big? Oh, is long. It is, but it's a very common word, and a lot of times it's not an extremely important word. So in the middle of a sentence, it would just sound like er, 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 uh -huh. er, er. So it's er. two pronunciations. Yeah. Important or unimportant, or, or, <laughs> or, or, yeah, or, and this fits our this rhythm. important, or. yeah, and also this fits our rhythm. Tarleton, tar, we've got Tarleton boys, er, so it fits our pattern of big, oh. small, big, small. Tarleton boys, er, tar, Tarleton boys, er, okay, Tarleton boys, er, okay. And then we have Boys. even, even, even. Where's the big syllable in that word? You know, English likes this pattern of big, small, big, small, big, small. And we have this perfectly with Tarleton boys or even. Then we have to shove in that word the. Even the, even the, make that part of the and the and the, Tarleton boys or even the. Oh, Pachi. Tarleton. Go ahead. Oh. Uh, sir. 
Tarleton boys, uh, even the... Okay, yeah, but instead of going up at the end of your phrases, try to go down. That would sound better. Tarleton boys, or even okay. the... Okay, sir, I'll, I try, sir. Uh-huh. Tarleton boys, uh, even the... You're going boy. Tarleton... But boys, just go boys. Go down instead of up. Tarleton boys. Mm -hmm. Boys, 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 go down, not, not, not up. Tarleton boys, Tarleton, Tarleton boys, or even Tarleton the, boys, or even the, uh, uh, even the, mm -hmm. uh, even the, even the. Okay, and then we have the word chorus. Do you know that word, Pachu? Do you know the word chorus? Do you know what that means? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chorus, uh, chorus means a granny or not a uh, rough surface. Yeah, so rough surface particle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a kind of like the opposite of soft in a way. Depends on what you're talking about. Yes. But it could be the opposite of. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Coarse, coarse. What do you think about the vowel sound in there? Coarse. Is that big or small? Coarse is a big coarse. Okay. Coarse. It's taking time. All right, and it fits our pattern. It fits our rhythm too. So Tarleton boys, or even the chorus. Yeah, Tarleton boys, or even the chorus. Chorus. Okay. And then we have chorus. Chorus. It's a big, big sound. It takes a long time to say chorus. Uh, what about the chorus. word impudence? Do you know that word impudence? Uh oh. Pachu has disappeared again. We have the word impudence. And uh, that means kind of like disrespectful in a way. Kind of means disrespectful in a way. Uh, and so while we're waiting for Pachu to return from uh, the land, the, the mysterious universe of the internet, Yes. Oh, you're back. I can hear you now. Yes. yes Impudence. Yes, Impudence. Where do you think is the strong syllable? Impudence. Impudence. Where's the strong Impudence. Impudence. Im? Not poo, but pew. Pew. Impew. Imp yeah, impew. Yeah. Impew. Uh -huh. Impute, yes, sir. Impute, oh. impute. Where, where's the, where's the, the accented syllable? Impudence, impudence, impudence. Yeah, beauty, impudence. Listen, impudence. Li now you're not, you're not wrong about that. Okay, uh, but let me just, I'm just writing something here to show you. Sometimes when you have a word with uh, more than two syllables, you'll find that one that that there could be two accents in a word. One is very strong, and one is yes. very weak. Yes. Well, not yes. very weak, yeah. but it's weaker. It's weaker. So uh, weaker. It's true that in, that that pew does have a sound to it. It, it. It's stronger than the other sounds, but it's not as strong as in. Mm. Impudence, impudence. Imp okay, impudence. Pew. Impudence. Not poo. Pew. Oh, sorry. Pew. Impudence. Impudence. Pew. Impudence. Impudence. Pew. Impudence. Okay, now when, when this happens, when when you know, if you're doing the pattern, the the sound patterns of English, when you when you have these two different accents. You can sometimes you have a choice. You can make the other one a little bit bigger to fit the pattern. That can yes, happen here absolutely. because because we already have chorus, which is a very big sound. So it doesn't sound good to say chorus impudence. It's better to yes. put the accent on pew. Chorus impudence. Impudence. Wait, <laughs> this is hard for me too. But let me think. Chorus. Impudent, impudence. No, you still have to, but you can make pew a little bit stronger. Impudence to try to keep the impudence. 
impudence uh -huh. okay yeah impudence impudence of impudence of impudence of impudence of impudence of okay and then we have ret butler ret butler ret butler okay all right ret butler all right so here let's let's go over <clears throat> the two sentences that we just read and then we'll finish okay okay sir if only he were not so shy can you read that if only he were not so shy. Okay, we have to work on that S H, but I have I have to do a little bit of research on that because I, I'm yes yes you well. Okay, he reminded her of a timid old. Let's see, he reminded her of a timid old brown field rabbit. He reminded her. Uh oh. Pachu has disappeared once again. He reminded. Okay, you're back. He reminded her. Yes. Right. Tell, tell me again. He reminded her of a timid old brown field rabbit. He reminded her of a timid old brown field rabbit. Okay. Is field a, is field a big word in this sentence or a little word? Uh, a sort. Field rabbit. Well, remember field rabbit. you said timid, old, brown, field rabbit. Okay. We made it big. It's a little confusing. Yes. yes. But let's try it. Field. 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 Field, mm -hmm. field okay. rabbit. All right. Rabbit. If only he had the gallantry and ardor of the Tarleton boys, or even the coarse impudence of Rhett Butler. If, if only he had the gallantry and ardor of the Tarleton boys, or even the coarse impudence impudence uh -huh. of Rhett Butler. Tell me, gallantry and ardor. I don't really hear the, the emphasis. Gallantry and ardor. If only... The the gallantry and ardor. If only he had the gallantry and ardor of the... Of the, right. If only he had the gallantry and ardor of the... Tarleton boys. Go only... Ahead. If only he had the gallantry and ardor of the Tarleton boys, or even the coarse impudence... Or, oh, even, or even the coarse impudence of Rhett Butler. Big, small, big. Or even the, or even the coarse impudence of Rhett Butler. Okay. All right. And before we go, I just want to talk about... Oops. What did I just do? <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, no. I, I grabbed the wrong thing. And now I've turned on the music. Oh, I'll never get used to doing this. I want to uh, just talk about two different words here. Okay. Then we'll finish. Can you see the two words that I have written in the uh, on the video? Okay, so it is coming. Yes, yes, I see. Okay, can you say number one? How do you say number one? Is field okay? Field. Say number two. Is field okay? Do those sound the same to you? Do those sound like very similar words? Yes, yes, similar. All right. Well, okay. First, field, field. here's one difference. What there there are a couple of differences. The first difference is the duration. Listen, listen to the duration of of the sound of that of that vowel. Uh, and then you tell me which one is big and which one is small. Number one. Yes, sir. Number one, filled. Number two, field. Which one is big and which one is small? Uh, two is big and one is small. It's okay. filled and field. 
Okay. No, but so you have to do special things with your mouth when you say number two, because field. Yes. You have to feel your tongue. Your tongue. Field. Your your tongue becomes very tense when you say it, and uh, this area under your mouth also is very tense. Everything in your mouth is tense. A number two, field. 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 Your tongue. Your tongue is tense, very tense. Field. Field. Now smile. Also smile when you say number number two. Okay. Field. 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 Push out more air. Field. Push out a lot of air when you say number two. Field. Field. That's better. That's better. Field. 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 It's a little bit better. You push. Try to push out more air. It sounds like you're pushing down the air instead of pushing it out. Okay, sir. Field. Oh, that was field. better. Field. Because, you know, with number two, filled. Filled. That's that's kind of a sound that you eat. Filled. That goes down yes, more than it goes up. Filled. 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 But when you say filled. number two, you have to push it out. Field. Field. That's, field. But, the, you know, there should be more tension, I think, in your mouth also. Field. Yes, yes, yes. Field. More tension. Field. Field. It's a little field. bit. I think also that would take some practice too. That's a hard one. That's hard for everyone. Yes, practice. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes, well, I think we yes, have to you. we have to finish for now. And uh, thank you. And I'll see you next time. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. Bye, bye, sir.